Hello, Dimsdale. I'm Chet Ubecho with today's editorial, which technically makes it a Chetatorial. The housing market faces concerns of a bubble as prices soar despite high mortgage rates. Supply shortages due to slowed construction during the pandemic and expensive borrowing contribute to the imbalance. Experts note a 3.2 million home deficit. While some fear a bubble, others attribute the price hikes to basic supply-demand dynamics rather than a speculative frenzy. Despite mortgage rate hikes, home prices continue to rise, raising apprehension about affordability. A shooting occurred in a Massillon, Ohio movie theater at around 11 p.m., resulting in one fatality, identified as Darren Davis, 27. Police swiftly apprehended a suspect outside the Massillon Police Department around 30 minutes later. Details on the motive and suspect identity remain undisclosed. The investigation is ongoing, with no further information provided at this time. The Philippines has deployed ships to a disputed area in the South China Sea, accusing China of constructing an artificial island. The move aims to monitor alleged illegal activities. Tensions escalate as the Philippine Coast Guard suspects China's involvement in small-scale reclamation at Sabina Shoal. The presence of Chinese vessels, including research and Navy ships, prompts Manila to take action amid ongoing maritime disputes in the region. Once a symbol of luxury travel, airplane meals have drastically declined since the 1960s, with most economy passengers only receiving complimentary snacks on select flights. This shift stems from cost-cutting measures, industry regulations, and safety concerns post-911. Airlines now prioritize low fares over food quality, with many outsourcing meal preparation to catering services. While premium cabins offer gourmet options, the era of free meals for all passengers appears to be a thing of the past. From all of us here, stay classy, Dimsdale.